So let's start with a problem which has recurred throughout history. Um, if you look at the Egyptian Rhine papyrus, uh, which dates from about 1650 BC, uh, you can see uh, that the following problem, uh, problem 79, and it just says houses, 7, cats, 49, rice, 343, wheat, 2401, Hecate, 16807. And you're required to add them together. There doesn't seem to be any purpose in adding together houses and rice and cats and things. It's clearly um, a problem uh, designed to, to give people practice in addition. And in fact, you're adding the, the powers of, of seven. Uh, given that the papyrus was probably used for the training of scribes to teach them basic mathematical skills, this is clearly here as a problem to teach them how to add numbers together. Many years later, around 1200, uh, Fibonacci wrote a famous book, which we'll be talking about later, called Liba Abaki, uh, the book of calculation. And it has this, this rhyme in it. Seven old women are going to Rome. Each has seven mules. Each mule carries seven sacks. Each sack contains seven <coughs> loaves. Each loaf has seven knives. Each knife has seven sheaths. What's the total number of things? Again, why you would want to add all these things together seems a bit obscure. Uh, but uh, again, that is, that is a puzzle. And I'm quite sure that in seeing that, that would have rung a bell because I'm sure that many of you would have thought of the nursery rhyme. As I was going to St. Ives, I met a man with seven wives. Each wife had seven cats, sacks. Each sack had seven cats, and so on. So uh, this is a, a more popular version of it. Uh, it and it's, uh, if you like, it's a, a recreational puzzle. Uh, this has, of course, a slight twist in the tale. How many were going to St. Ives? Because the answer is only one. I was going to St. Ives, and everyone else was coming up in, in the opposite direction. Um, but you can actually see that these things ha ha have, a, have a different purpose. Um, they're all set in um, perhaps um, attractive recreational form, uh, but they had, uh, they had a different purpose. This purpose was to teach scribes how to add. This one uh, was actually to teach uh, the Hindu Arabic numerals, uh, and I'll say a bit more about that later. Uh, and then the last one is purely a sort of a recreational puzzle. <coughs> 